Food and Drug Administration has approved a new drug that can be given to infants and toddlers to fight RSV. So Dr. Jennifer Dushan is a pediatric infectious disease physician and a professor at the Econ School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. So Dr. Dushan, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is big, right? Because RSV was all anybody was talking about last winter with these cases that were on the rise. I saw so many infants and toddlers that were going to the ER because of it. So this new drug is a huge development in this. So for parents who are saying, well, is it safe first and foremost to give to an infant? What are your thoughts here? Absolutely. So you're correct. Last year we had a huge what we call a viral surge. Um, so there was for some reason, an increase in the incidence of RSV disease. And we were seeing children and specifically infants who are very, very ill, needing to be hospitalized, parents who were losing um, days from work, having to care for them, and children and infants that were just very miserable. So this product is a monoclonal antibody. Um, we have one form of that drug already that's approved, that has been approved for use for many years in infants who have a very different risk profile who are extremely premature, but we don't have anything to fight this virus in uh, the majority of children and infants who actually get this, which are term infants. Mm. So this is a monoclonal antibody. It's not a vaccine. Um, it's a protein that will bind to the viral particles and prevent the virus from infecting the cells. So there are uh, the FDA has approved this drug. The CDC has also looked at the safety and efficacy. efficacy, um, And we very much hope that this is going to be a great tool to fight this, uh, this disease coming up for the RSV season. It's called Bayfortis, right? That's correct. It's, its generic name is Nircevimab. And again, it's a monoclonal antibody. Yeah. It's not a vaccine. Um, so how is it administered? It's administered um, intramuscularly, so as a shot, once a season, so at the start of the RSV season, or when uh, infants are born. Oh, so to this carry is them not the RSV season. So this is not to give to an infant once they're sick. It's to That's give correct. to somebody before this. It's a preventative this. tool. Yes. Okay, That's so correct. for parents who, you know, I, I, I have a one-year-old, and I was nervous about the. Um, you know, when you hit that certain mark, you can get the COVID shot and, and so on and so forth. What are the uh, adverse effects, if any, to the RSV? Mm -hmm. So the adverse effects that we've been seeing are the same as any injection. Um, so injection site reactions, sometimes some soreness, um, and rashes are sometimes noted. Um, the incidence of adverse effects during the studies that we have, again, on both safety and efficacy, showed this to be extremely safe, and there were no... Um, systemic reactions that were noted. Okay, so in tests, it cut hospitalizations by more than 83%. So if parents are wondering, like, how mm -hmm. worth it is this? What could happen to my child if I don't get this? Can you sort of paint a picture for them? Sure. So again, um, we're the CDC is going to meet again. They've already met to approve the drug in terms of um, of safety and efficacy, they're just going, as, as did the FDA, they're just going to sort of finalize how it's gonna be given and to which infants and when. Um, so this drug will, again, what we hope will do will be to prevent lower respiratory tract disease. So when children or infants, the majority of them get RSV, it's typically just a bad cold, mm -hmm. but there are, are a proportion of infants who get um, very severe swelling or wheezing um, or pneumonia mm. from this disease. So what we hope, again, and that's what the studies have shown, is that this is efficacious in preventing those more catastrophic consequences of the disease. Understood. So, so if a parent's saying, well, I'm just not there yet, it's so new, I want to wait to see what happens, what, if at all, anything, is there for treatment for RSV once you do get it? So right now there's no treatment for RSV. And again, children and infants especially um, can become very miserable. Infants especially because their respiratory tracts are very small. Yeah. So any secretions or any virus really affects them more. Um, our care right now is supportive. And so we again, we hope that this is gonna be one great tool to help prevent on a population level in many infants, um, the consequences of RSV. Mm -hmm. If children get RSV, do they build an immunity? So that's an interesting question. Um, 
it seems as though RSV doesn't exactly act in some of the way of the other viruses. It doesn't produce lasting immunity. So some children will get it and infants will get it more than once in a season. Mm -hmm. We know that the first episode, especially in infants, is the most severe. Um, so subsequent uh, infections aren't quite as severe, um, but um, but it doesn't unfortunately produce the immunity that other viruses can. Understood. All right, Dr. Jennifer Dushan, appreciate you being here this morning and shedding some light on this new drug to fight RSV, RSV in infants. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you.